Get out of bed. Sunday. Um, one of my most favourite bands. It's Australian. Their Skyhawks there were very, very controversial in the in the seventies. Yes, I'm showing my age. Whatever. Um, amazing band. Amazing band. Lots of fun. They just went crazy with their music, and they just told real stories about growing up as a teenager and all that fun stuff. Gloves. Oh my goodness. Look out. Um, we. Me. We. Um, are gonna do some of my three of my f most favorite ingredients I think um, a really good steak so um, this one is a uh, Angus uh, New York cut um, black Angus making sure I don't drop the G but um, funny enough my my folks um, Ann and Brian back home there, they're back, they're living there in, um, where are they living these days? Orange, or Bathurst, no, Orange, no, some country town, anyway, in Australia, in Australia, in the, in kind of heading towards the outback, we used to run, or they used to run cattle, commercial cattle, commercial beef cattle, so for a stint there I went and helped out, and so I, I know my way around um, some steak, um, Brian was, my dad, my, um, Stepdad Brian, he is an exceptional cattleman. Um, does an amazing job. Put the put the breeds together. He was running um, purebred Charolais, which is a French breed, an amazing steak. Um, when you when you mix a, a Charolais and an Angus together, some of the top some of the top steaks um, in like bought and and um, baby for Japan, and Japan buys the best of the best. So. Um, some great, great cuts. So today we're doing bourbon. Um, this monster over here. No, we're doing um, bourbon, steak, and coffee. And the plan is we're doing a coffee rub. Um, we're doing a spiced coffee rub on the steak. And then we're doing it with um, a coffee bourbon sauce. So we're going to get to eat this later. How much later? Around lunchtime. Around lunchtime. So by the time I'm done here, we should be ready to roll. Two amazing steaks. So let's get ripping because it takes about um, each each stage takes about um, 30 minutes. I pre-mix the I pre-mix the rub, and the rub's got um, it's a real it's pretty simple. I got this one off um, Delish. There was a whole bunch of, of um, uh, recipes running around. But this one looked the uh, easiest and the and the time constraint uh, was going to get us through this. So this one runs with two tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, um, a teaspoon of see now he, I say oregano and you guys say oregano, right? Oregano. Oregano. Uh, one tablespoon of finely ground coffee. So I I pulled some out of our espresso machine this morning. Um, Salt, one tablespoon of salt, 16 ounce boneless strip steak. Um, what do we got? This is the choice cut from Publix, I guess we've got. Um, tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then the sauce, um, on the side I've got, I got the ingredients here for the sauce. You can see we're gonna, we're gonna build that on camera. Um, do this while I'm at it. Um, we've got one cup of brewed coffee, it's in here. Uh, one third of a cup of brown sugar, one quarter of a cup of bourbon. Two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one quarter cup of ketchup, um, two tablespoons, two teaspoons of orange zest. Maybe I read that as two tablespoons, but I got a fair bit of orange zest going on. Blood orange I used this morning, so um, some kosher salt. We're actually not going to use kosher. We're going to use Murray River Australian Murray River pink salt and uh, some freshly ground pepper. So let's get into the steaks. So I'm going to rub these guys, give these guys a rub, and then um, we're going to let them rest. We're going to sit them aside let them rest at the same time. So I'm going to have to multitask here, which is just going to be crazy for us all to watch. So we'll, we'll um, sprinkle some of this on both sides. And we'll get it, get it rubbed right in. Um, we've, had a, we've had quite a few local restaurants and chefs um, do this with our coffee. Um, there's one actually right now. Josco's doing a. So uh, if you guys haven't heard or been there, um, Josco um, Bar and Oven, right? They call themselves. Is that something like that? Um, 
Yeah, and um, they're up here in the in the Dollar Plaza up in Tequesta. Um, definitely worth definitely worth a visit. Those guys do an amazing job with um, with their food and also their cocktails. If you haven't been up and, and uh, checked them out and been up here for, a, um, they're really popular on a Friday night, right? Um, yeah, they have a great happy hour and Joe, pizzas. right? Joe and Scott, mm -hmm. the boys run an amazing, amazing job. Um, they've just reopened back up, but they have on the menu. It's on the menu this week, right? Um, coffee rub steak. Yes. Is that correct? Um, so, Oceana coffee rub. Oceana coffee rub steak. And the other, one of the other chefs that we work with closely is um, Sheffy Mal and Sheffy. Um, he does his infamous or famous, both infamous and famous. Mm -hmm. um, coffee bacon. If you haven't tried that, um, maybe we'll have a crack at it one day, but we'll see if I can ask him to share me the recipe. But he does a, um, an amazing... He calls it crack bacon. He can call it crack bacon, because it really is. It's ridiculously good. So, some amazing chefs around the place doing some great stuff with our coffee, so I thought, well hell, why not put my most favorite ingredients together? So, there it is, rubbed down and ground in. We'll set that aside. We're going to let that run up at room temperature. In the meantime, I'm going to blast the oven up to 400. And then, while that's happening, um, I've got the, I'm got a, um, we've got a big cast iron pan we use, and so we're going to for everything. For everything. Um, so I'm going to let that run up in there. To temperature because it's going to speed it up for me when I hit it on the hot plate. Everything's going to be nice and warm, ready to roll. All right. In the meantime, we're going to build the sauce because it takes a while. They say here it takes about 25 minutes, and uh, we've got to reduce it down. So, in the meantime, you're going to have to listen to me just waffle on and put stuff together and see, make sure I don't smash any glasses. Valerie's watching. She says she's pumped. Good morning. Good morning, Valerie. Um, so, into the mix. So we're in a medium saucepan, it says, I'm gonna use a little one. Hopefully, um, we get a lot of heat happening and my reduction will trip along there. It says 25 minutes. Um, and you read the paragraph, it says, meanwhile, and I was just thinking of a, it was like a Batman scene. Meanwhile, <laughs> back at the Batcave, <laughs> make a sauce. Um, yeah, well, I won't go there. So, in a medium saucepan, combine brewed coffee with brown sugar, uh, bourbon, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and the orange zest. Bring it to a, uh, bring the mixture to a boil, and then simmer uncovered until it's reduced to one third. So, I'm not the chef, honestly. I'm not the cook in here. And my wife Amy just made Japanese Japanese fluffy pancakes for breakfast. Ridiculous. The things that, and of course, it was my daughter's, um, my daughter's idea. So it's going to be pretty fun when she, as she grows up. The her love of food, um, which definitely comes from your dad. Mm -hmm. um, the love of food and the love of um, trying new, new things is definitely going to be passed on down the way. So culinary adventures. Culinary adventures. They're not scared. I tell you, some of the things I think of like, for real, you're going to make Japanese fluffy pancakes. For breakfast. So anyway, we did. They did. And get the kitchen clean by eleven and get the, for yeah, a live. Have them, have them all finish up and eat at quarter to eleven, and then get live at eleven. No, we didn't. <laughs> you want to see me stress out? Watch that one. All right. Well, I'm just gonna get the. I'm gonna get the phone out during the week, and you can cook during the weeknights too. All right. Put the video camera on and you'll cook. Yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> you, want your, you, know, you want your husband to cook? This is how to do it. Put him on the camera, put him live, make him agree to anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, honey. Yes, honey. Sure, honey. No problem, honey. All right, this is teaspoon, right? Um, and then it says two teaspoons of orange zest. Hopefully, yeah, I think I've got two teaspoons, but I don't want to overdo it. We don't want to... Actually, it's probably going to come out a bit like a marmalade flavoring, actually, when we think about it, yeah? Yeah, could so be. So I'll do that. It's going to be like your old-fashioned, isn't it? It's going to be quite the old-fashioned. It's going to be all all the good things. Um, so we'll get this up to temperature. 
Um, what am I missing? That's it. Oh, salt. Salt and pepper. Well, um... What's his name? What's the old fella's name? Just goes, BAM! Emerald. Emerald. <laughs> Look out, Emerald, here I come. Someone called you the Emerald of Coffee a couple <laughs> months ago. <laughs> and no. So, now what? What's everyone up to today? Is there, is there anybody out there watching? Kayla's on. Kayla? How are uh, you doing, Nina Miss Kayla? Nina was here before, is she? Who? Nina. Oh, well, he's coming along pretty quick. That's cool. So we got... Man, that smell, it does smell like a, it smells like an old fashioned. All right. The weather is beautiful outside right now, so I would think there'd be a lot of people out on boats today. Actually, I might, um, I had a whiskey. So, yeah, um, don't mind me, I gotta concentrate and then think about what I'm doing and concentrate. Can you talk and cook at the same time? I'm not as talented as you girls, you know that. It's a male brain we're dealing with. Um, so, and so we're going to, next week, what are we going to do? We're going to give away, um, we're going to give away, next week, stay tuned, because we're going to give away, um, $25 gift cards, right? Yes. And, or access to, um, codes, uh, to, to spend the $25 on our website, and, um, bring that to the boil. If anybody was watching this yesterday, um, my great mates who were back on yesterday with me, um, Brandon, Mark. And Jeremy and uh, yesterday while we're off camera and while we finished up here um, part of the part of the discussion with the boys was we were sent um, we've been sending coffee around to each other Mark sent us a really nice coffee and we had that on camera yesterday the Colombian and then um, and during the week um, during the week uh, Brandon's been saying oh there's a special gift on the way there's a special gift on the way well it turned up yesterday and uh, him being the ever, ever surprising fellow and ever, um, ever wanting us to be more educated along the way, he's the, he is an SCA um, certified educator and he's a, you know, very very knowledgeable coffee guy. So it was really really cool. And of course he turns this package turns up yesterday. I unpack it, and uh, so let's bring. I brought that to the boil. So I'm just going to slide it off while it's. Um, Coming down, I'm going to turn the hot plate down a little bit. It says down to bring it to the simmer. Um, leave it uncovered, of course, because then we've got to leave it evaporate, right? So it's, we'll um, bring that down to low. Oh, man, can you smell that? It smells just like an old-fashioned. Okay. Okay. Can you smell it? It's like a marmalade old-fashioned. And the Worcestershire sauce. Anyway, so... Um, I get the letter, I get this letter in the, in with the box, I hope this package finds you well. Uh, we recently acquired some special coffees from our partners in Peru, one of these coffees is controlled fermentation. We talked about fermentation yesterday. Um, one has been on our shelves in the past, it's a natural geisha, and I've also added our natural uh, Limu region, good food ward, a winning Costa Cabana. Um, I was thinking, I could just send you all the coffee and call it a day, but we might as well have some fun. The coffees are labeled just like this. Funny fella, isn't he? <laughs> and so, shoot me an email at Brandon uh, with which of the which of the above which of the above coffees mentioned match which letter. What a character, huh? So now. I've got to match, I've got to find out which one's from Peru, which one's from Kenya, oh sorry, which one's from Peru, which one's from Ethiopia, and which one is the geisha, which I don't even know where the geisha's from, so that'll be fun. So anyway, there you go, what coffee guys do to each other just for entertainment. So now I'm going to have to... So now we have to do that. Now I've got to do something for him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's a... Uh, He's, Brandon is the Education Sustainability Director up there in Crimson Cup, um, certified Q grader like myself, and it's like, so are the boys. So anyway, 
there's my next challenge. We're no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to do this on camera, but maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to. Don't want to see myself fail on camera, but you know. Maybe you won't fail. Maybe I won't. What maybe. Do you say about failing? Say it's learning. Ah, uh, you know what? I always treat. And actually, one of those questions. Um, my coach, my coach, um, Austin Bettigrew at um, Fit Town in Jupiter. He sent me eight questions last week about um, what's my what's life's what's my life's biggest failure. And I never. It's funny. I talked to Amy about. It. I never. I never dwell on them. I don't dwell on failures, and I really don't. Often, I don't often see them as failures. So that's pretty interesting to go back in my head and think about. They're always learnings. I mean, they're always painful, especially if we do. If there has been one or there's something goes wrong, I don't see it as a failure. I always see it as an opportunity to learn. And definitely, um, I don't like the feeling, but I do remember the feeling. It's always that, you know, oh my god. And then, like any, like any good CrossFit workout, any good long-term CrossFit workout, it's like it's the grind. You know, you're going to be there at the end. And you know, you're going to be standing tomorrow, and you know, you just got to suck it up learn from the lesson and, and keep moving so yeah failures yeah we fail we learn don't you don't if you don't win you learn that's the other one isn't it so while this is reducing i'm trying to keep the the heat to it i got to get it down to being some resembling some kind of sauce it's actually already come down about it's already come down a third so i'm going to crank the heat up a little bit see what we've got going on there um the the pan is up, getting close up to up to 400 because I know it's about to beep at me over here. <coughs> and hopefully the sauce keeps up with the timing because we got to get to we got to get it to a, a bourbon sauce and all the steaks over there marinating, marinating or what do you call it? Yeah. Seasoning, marinating, marinating, resting, resting. Um, what else can you chat with? What any questions out there? Any concerns? Any questions? Any coffee knowledge want to be spread? Cool. How what, hot 400? does your pan need to be when you? Uh, right now I'm it's actually, 400 degrees. Right now, the, 400. right now, yeah. Cool. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. It's going to be it's going to be heavy to handle, but we'll um. Put your mitts on. Ah. So we'll be having Scotty's hands for lunch. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've burnt fingertips and, and fingerprints off, that's for damn sure. Um, What's tomorrow while we're waiting? What it's is a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, ah, tomorrow. June 1st. June 1st? June 1st. It's January. It's crazy. Um, first but of it's, January. January. It's um, member Monday for Oceana Coffee. Um, what have we got going on? Is it online? No, we don't have online, do we? Online is free shipping online. Ah, oh, yeah, and we're changing the code right tomorrow. Yes. What's the what's the what's the code? New normal. New normal. So in store, it's twenty percent off everything coffee, drinks, and bags of coffee, and then online, it's the new it's a new code as of tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be called it's new normal, all one word, all lowercase doesn't all matter. Uppercase Actually, it doesn't matter. matter. All uppercase doesn't matter on our website. You can. And then um, free shipping for another month. We're gonna we're gonna try that out again. See how see how it goes. So make sure you get online. Um, and our new um, new blend. We just we put together a new blend. We're messing around with names right now. Um, what do we call? I think we're coming up with um, what was it? What was the ones last night? Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly. That's gonna be our dark roast. So we're doing a dark roast. Who is Ned Kelly? Ned Kelly. Ah, for Ned Kelly. He actually, he was a very bad boy. He's a bit of a bad boy. He was an Aussie um, bush ranger. So, so obviously the country was um, developed and formed by as a penal colony. That's how Australia started. Australia started as a penal colony. Um, they were the outcasts from um, the motherland, from England, and uh, they shipped them over there, and they built, and they built penal colonies, but they also brought over lots and lots of civilians as well, you know, not just, not, a, not just, we weren't all bad guys. Um, huh? 
And so um, Ned Kelly was one of the most, in the 1800s, in the 1800s, um, he is from a very poor family, at the back in the sticks, um, got, a, got tangled up in some of, with some of the wrong guys, learned how that stealing horses and selling them was a good thing, and then then uh, he started moving on to holding up um, stagecoaches, and like, there weren't stagecoaches over there in, in that stage, but um, doing hold-ups, doing, he was called a bush ranger, and he was doing hold-ups all around the place. Anyway, he, he ended up, um, he ended up, they caught him, they eventually caught him, him and his gang, um, big shootout in the end, and then uh, they captured him alive, and um, they hung him. Yep. So they sentenced him and hung him. Actually, we just Melbourne. watched the movie. Yeah, it all happens in Victoria, it all happens down in Victoria, um, He and he was um, all said and done in uh, one of the Melbourne jails down there. Um, so, pretty... He's, and he is definitely, if you ever read up on the history of Australia, he's definitely a huge part of the history and, and uh, the, the crazy times down there. Eureka Stockade um, is one, all the gold fields, all the huge gold field um, fiasco down there, and also the um, Ned Kelly's another one. Um, Jared's here and Alma's here. I told Jared to come over because he is definitely into cooking with Oceana coffee. Well, here's it, dude. This one, this one is full blown. It's coffee everywhere. We've got. So for those who just joined, we're doing a coffee rub. Um, what is that? New York strip. Or New York strip. Yeah. New York strip, right? Yeah. We're doing a we're doing a coffee rub New York strip, and we're doing a uh, with a bourbon coffee sauce. So that's what I'm in re in re doing reduction right now. And for those of you who haven't seen it, these are the two steaks we got rolling <laughs> with the coffee rub. Um, what coffee did you choose for your rub? Actually, use I used our espresso blend, and actually, what it was—it's an act. Um, it is. Um, it says you had me at coffee and steak. Yeah, and, and then, then we I, put bourbon. Then I'm add bourbon. <laughs> Whew. Killer. Um, I used our espresso blend. Actually, the one that's on the website, the morning blend. Um, the morning blend. Yeah. So it's going. It's going through our espresso machine right now, just fine tuning that. Um, what do we end up? What were we calling it? What was, we, so we talked we about Ned drink. Kelly. They break down under. Down break, they, they break down I'm under. I'm going to put a little preview of the labels on here on Facebook. They, Do you they, hear about that? No, of course not. They break down under. or Because I want the... We're talking about doing the Ned Kelly one. Black with gold. Um, right. I like that idea. On a dark blue bag. It look really, really good, I think. And so... And then they break. Yeah, let me put a picture. They break down under. That's going to be our medium uh, roast. Daybreak. Down under daybreak. Daybreak down under. Sorry. Okay, oh, this is wrong. like this keeps this is taking forever to reduce. So I'm going to crank. I'm still cranking the heat up on it. So you watch. It's going to go. The watch pot never boils. Well, I'm trying not to the watch it. The watch sauce never reduces. <laughs> I'm not watching it. Sunday. How's everyone doing out there? There's nothing happening. What? Tell me. Talk to me. There's a lot of people are outside. Oh yeah, for sure. Old Jessica Public, they were going on the boat. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. For those of you, I mean, I know there's people from all over the place, but definitely down here in Florida and definitely in our local area right now, the waterways and people being, you know, people being let out. Can you, can you imagine just letting out everyone, letting everyone out of a box? Everyone's running down the paddock. Ah! Well, that is brave enough to anyway, I guess. The rest of you can stay home. Be safe. Don't go out. Some people like girls don't. I do. I like to. I don't mind staying at home. I get some indoor stuff to do. Do a whole bunch of fixes and repairs, updates. Simmer. You know, if 
can't operate out of sequence. Alright, let it let it do its thing. I'll listen to the girls. Um, and we're gonna put a large in a large skillet over medium heat sear steak for two minutes each side. So it's been about thirty minutes anyway since that since I started the seasoning. Oh, we've uh, got another chef watching. Oh no. <laughs> Good morning, Jim. And then we'll put in the skillet. This is gonna be but this is really, really quick. The steak's not gonna take very long at all. It honestly it takes about two minutes a side, four minutes, ten minutes total. For the steak to be for the steak to be medium rare, so I probably want medium. How do you like yours? Oh, medium rare. Jared said Costco was madness this morning. Oh, dude, why'd you go to Costco? Brave man. Probably needed steak. Man. Brave, brave man. All right, so we're going to sear the steaks, finish them off in the oven. Yeah, actually, I like this method. My wife Cast does it quite. A, my wife does it quite a bit. Um, the with our cast iron. Cast iron skillet. I love it because we are able to put it in and out of the oven. Um, it cooks just about every single thing. I cook breakfast every morning for the for the girls, and um, there it is. Just nice and hot. Easy to roll. We'll make sure it's um, nice and clean, clear. Put a bit of um, what am I going to use? What kind of what are we going to use on here? Avocado oil. Avocado oil. Yeah, we've got oil. Is that high temp? Yes. Sure, it's way up the temperature here. Let's we'll see what we've got going on. yesterday with the um, decaf concentrate but that's actually starting to look like a sauce how about that we're on a bit of a roll 30 minutes in I'm on time Mary Beth said you make breakfast every morning for the girls what a keeper I said you're the weekday breakfast maker I am all right actually I'm um, yeah, Amy gets, I cook for Amy, cook Amy breakfast every morning after I get back from the gym and definitely if my daughter's around and get her to make sure she's eating a good breakfast and she loves scrambled eggs. And my son, if he's around and he's hungry, he usually gets um, smashed and flipped eggs. Saves, saves him pumping carbs into themselves first up in the morning without any, without any other nutrients and proteins going in. So. 
Um, can you, Jared wants to ask you to um, recap what's in the sauce, please. Yeah, for sure. So the sauce, sauce. Let's go back to see what's in the sauce. Um, the sauce is one cup of brewed coffee. It is one one third of a cup of brown sugar. Uh, one quarter of a cup of bourbon. Actually, I used an infused bourbon this time just to get rid of it. Um, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Uh, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A quarter of a cup of ketchup. And two teaspoons of um, orange zest. I just had a blood orange and I zested the blood orange with... Um, So just a microplane we got and um, and just take the take the zest off it and that's what you saw me with that. That was um, the orange zest. So two teaspoons of that into there and then bring it to uh, bring it to a boil. So the directions we bring it to a boil and then let it simmer and reduce down. So reduce down to about a third. We're getting pretty. It's getting. It looks pretty good. It smells amazing. It's like How we've said. Oh, about half a bottle. Oh. Jim said three quarters of a cup. <laughs> Bourbon is whatever you have, how much you want. Like I only put a quarter. I was only following directions because that's that my brain side. I should have added more, but hell, um, one quarter a cup. So, but it's um, but like we said before, when we first started doing this, it was um, it smelling like an old fashioned, which was pretty damn amazing. All right, this is nice and hot. I can see this. We're just starting to smoke here, so. We're aiming for about two minutes a side on each one of these guys. We don't normally put sauce on a steak. That's, that's a rare thing for us, I would say. This just sounded so delicious. Oh, yeah. Actually, you're right. I, I really, I, I don't, I'm not a real sauce fan. Your dad was a huge sauce guy. He's been French, being from the French background side of things. Um, but, the um this noise. That smells so good. Yeah, I wish you guys could smell that. How much coffee was in the rub? In the rub? Um, it was only about right, or two no, what did I put in here? Uh, one tablespoon. Okay. Yeah, one tablespoon fine ground. I I used our espresso. But you're definitely gonna taste that. Oh look at it, like it's yeah, so Oh. Oh, and I, I, you know what? I actually, it's um, not in, the, wasn't in the recipe, but I added it. Uh, I added um, garlic powder. So I added. Right now, yeah, I added a teaspoon of um, garlic powder into that. So I love garlic. Now I was thinking about whether I should put garlic in the sauce or whether I should put fresh garlic in the oh, in there, weird. but I didn't, and so. Whatever, we got garlic powder, I got garlic powder in the rub, which I think would be amazing. I think that Jared just said that sauce would be great on mashed potatoes on the side. <laughs> I think this sauce is going to be good for everything, like I'm going to be eating this stuff. Yeah, we'll some so it says about two minutes, that's about two minutes. We want to get a nice, um, nice tea going on. The pan's good temperature, oh, look at that. Oh, my lord. Look these bad boys. Valerie, are you seeing this right now? <laughs> and you can't, and, you, and I can see, and I, when I cook, I cook on an Australian style barbecue at the back here, but, and I'd be doing it there, but the way I watch how my meat is going is the layers, you can see on the side, the layer of cooking, and of course this one we want to, we're searing it to capture, um, and Jim can talk to this really well, I'm not that much of a chef when it comes to regard, but we're searing in the flavors and we're capturing them so they can't just keep moving out and, and into the pan. Um, we're searing it up, sealing the sealing the meat both ends, and we'll put it into the uh, into the oven and let it cook off for the last, and it's only gonna be in here about five or six minutes, so uh, we're gonna be shooting for a medium, medium rare, medium, medium rare, we'll do a compromise. And, uh, but yeah, this this steak and lots. What I was going to talk about a little bit earlier too was um, when you grab a steak. Like I know we only really most of us only have access to 
the um, the grocery store and the grocery store meat and cuts that they, they send us and get us. But Costco um, has amazing meat. Actually, though. you know they what? Really that's what I was going to say. That not, Costco do have an amazing meat, and there's there is ways to tell if you've got a really really good cut. And marbling um, is is definitely one of the things you need to be looking out for, especially when you when you find cuts of steak. Um, marbling is very important. And when I talk about marbling, I talk about the 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 fat sinew rib. Um, little rivers or little markings you see through the through the stakes. Um, like I said before, my stepdad, my mum and, and uh, st her husband, st my stepdad, they used to run cattle and I used to run up there, I used to help them out for a long time. And he, his, the cattle that he bred and was always bought by guys who would take it to the local agricultural shows. And the local agricultural shows also have like they judge the they judge the the cattle. It was like a. Um, is this the link to the Sherway? Yeah. Kind of what it is. Yeah, and also the um, Ecker every year it was a big big agricultural show in Australia, and they used to judge the meat all the way from live to carcass, and he won gold multiple times, a blue ribbon actually, but he won. Um, for the cuts of meat multiple times and the marbling inside that and the taste of the of the steak that's what we got to eat on the farm all the time it's just this amazing 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 steak so if you're if you're a steak meat meat eater you know keep an eye out costco does run some they their cuts are very very good their lamb um they either get their lamb out of australia or out of new zealand um and i definitely and you won't hear this very often but i would definitely say if you're if you're a lamb lover as much as i am um, the, their lamb out of Costco is fantastic and um, if you've got a comparison, if you've got comparative um, lambs, if you've got a choice between Australia and New Zealand lamb, definitely go after the um, New Zealand lamb. Um, just a little bit extra flavour and I think, I think the boys in New Zealand love their lambs a little bit more but you know, a little extra love. Little extra love. I want to make sure it's all dark but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Give a key, I'll give my Kiwi, Kiwi mates a bit of a hard time. We all, it's all in fun. They kick our ass in rugby, but all good. Actually, I've been watching a um, buddy of mine who, I, who taught me to kiteboard, um, Leslie Ball. He's a, he's a phenomenal chef, phenomenal chef. Kiwi guy, but yeah, great, great lads. I got plenty of Kiwi jokes, but I'm not allowed to say them on camera. They're a bit naughty. Have a different channel for that. <laughs> Facebook is family friendly. Right. I can say the Kiwi one, but I won't say it. Good. Um, I lost count of how long it was in there for. Great. But Do don't worry about it. You might want to get that big cutting board out so you, when you slice it, it's going to be juicy. You know it's going to be. Yes, dude. Look at that. What a good husband, huh? Alright, let's see. I'll make some room for this big cutting board. Um, in the meantime, our bourbon sauce is reducing away. Um, this one you're talking about? Yeah. Making sure not to burn it. All right, let's do some temperature. They say, um, they say 125. They say 125. Jared's asking where we get our steak. We don't really eat a lot of steak that often. Do Actually, we? that's not that's true. Yeah. I love. I tell you what, I do get when we do get the Costco one. We usually get a um, tenderloin, um, beef tenderloin, and we. Um, Slice it up. All right, that's done already. So I'm going to bring it out. Um, I wanted this to stop cooking, so I'm going to get it up onto the board. Let it rest. The 
chefs will probably go mad at me. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm just going to lay my feet like this. And stick that back in the oven to turn this off. Probably don't want to stick it back in the oven, do I? It's going to caramelise and whatnot. Go hard in the pan. So I'm going to let it rest for about ooh, five minutes, I think. So what do you do with your sauce? Are you supposed to dip it, put it, pour it over it? That's, I mean, that's Whatever personal choice. Want. Yeah, personal choice. I'm probably going to have mine on the side. Um, like Amy said, you know, I'm not really, I'm not a sauce kind of guy. So, um, but I definitely, I really do enjoy um, mushroom sauce with steaks. I would definitely like steak mushroom. I don't, I definitely do not like pepper sauce. Um, this bourbon sauce has definitely got me well intrigued. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, actually, what I can do, because it is... It's thickened up, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's definitely um, it's definitely reduced down. It's doing, it's doing pretty well. It's like a syrup. It's like it's getting more and more. It's getting a lot thicker. Still got a ways to go, I think. But I also think, actually, once I take it off the heat, it's going to... Um, going to congeal a little bit, right? Thicken up. Jared um, says, small toaster or cooling rack. We actually put a lot of stuff on top of our toaster when we pull it out of the oven. Yeah, this will be alright. I'm okay with that. And, um, looks really, really good. How about that? So it says, let steak rest for 10 minutes before slicing. Um, looks like the Wibberian Tarpets over here. Get my favourite knife out. Even sharpen knives, ladies. I was actually going to go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We've got about 15 minutes to go, roughly. This is coming together. Actually, they, we need to... So, for those of you, so when I started out, um, I started out with the rubbing of... I had to rub the steak um, first up, got it ready, and then put it aside for 30 minutes, let it rest at um, room temperature with the rub on it, and then I started the sauce. Now, it says on the directions 25 minutes, but we're well into this, I'm, I'm easily 30 minutes into this sauce. Um, so allow for that in the reduction. Like I think, what I'm looking for, me personally, I'm looking for a, a, a nice thick, like syrupy, syrupy kind of. even thicker than syrup nearly, um, type of sauce. And so, um, that's what I was gonna do, I was gonna taste it. So you're just looking at the, I want, I want that, I just want that to nice, to dribble out like syrup would be ultimate, what I want. This is not a grill. This is not a grill. And now, I, look, I'm just bluffing and bullshitting my way through this and sort of play the game and see how we do. So what? Give me some flavour notes. That's that's very. It's got a good orange amount of orange. Sure. It's like um, God, I had three different scenarios. I had three different scenarios of what that reminded me of. It's definitely it's like a little molasses like that. Bit of marmalade. Bit of a marmalade. Bit of a um, 
That's Diane, not State Doc. What's the Diane? Not Diane. Anyway, so it's phenomenal. It is, I think, it's a little sweet. That would be amazing at like Christmas time. Yeah, I probably. Pretty good on pork. Yeah. Like a prime rib. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, that it would be phenomenal. I think this would be phenomenal on pork. This will. And you found a recipe for. Oh. Yeah, I did. I found it was, I was looking around, it was, it was between steak and, and pork tenderloin. Um, Costco do pork tenderloin. That's what we get out pork tenderloin too, right? So I think that's just, this is pretty well pretty well sorted. I think, um, how are we doing for time? We've got plenty of time. Is everyone still here? Anyone still here? Yeah, we have some people still here. Alright, why don't we cut it? See what happens. As you can see, it's not taking much it's effort. It's like butter. It is really. <laughs> so let's see if I can do what the chefs do here. Make a bit of a display. Oh, wow. It's delicious. So there you go, Oceana coffee. Oceana coffee rub steak with a coffee bourbon sauce. Now you know what you're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Look at that. You're welcome. Regular potatoes or sweet potatoes with this would be great. Nice spinach salad. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this. Party in my mouth. <laughs> I got goosebumps. That's, that's all right. So there you go. Scott is cooked on a Sunday morning. You've been in the kitchen. I am who I am. We've done what we've done. If you're a steak lover, that is ridiculously good. That we got that this morning from Publix. So New York, New York, Greenwise, Greenwise um, New York strip um, with the coffee bourbon um, sauce. Um, we actually got this, we, I pulled this, um, I pulled this menu down off Delish, so. I actually linked, um, on our Facebook for anybody watching, I linked the, I linked the recipe for you guys. Look, I actually linked the recipe for you guys. Look, if I can do it, if I can do it, you all can do it. Easy. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take that off because I think the sauce is good, good to go. And actually, like I said, you know, it's it's nice and thick. Um, it looks really, really good. It tastes phenomenal. And it's about where I want it to be. Right now, it's, it's that sauce. It's that, um, you know, we're talking about that thickness. Look at that now. Like in just that short amount of time, how, how quickly it thickened up in the end there. And it's definitely become a really, really... So, there it is. Woo! Done and dusted. Look at that. Done and dusted. And this, this is ridiculous. Yeah, excuse my fingers. Not. Sorry, not sorry. That mixed with the, um, that coffee bourbon sauce mixed with the rub and the, um, the salt and the rub and the crispiness of the seed. Sensational, sensational. Can you taste the coffee? Can. Both sides. You can actually taste it in the rub. Just really slightly in the rub, but the, it comes out in here. Um, this, this, the only thing that I would say on this one is that the orange is quite powerful. So if you're depending on how you like it, I'd probably knock that down to half of it. Just so there was a hint of orange. Yeah. Like orange. It's still, I mean, it's not overpowering, but it's not, I'd, I'd just dial it down and a little it's bit. just orange zest that you put in, right? Just orange zest. Okay. Um, and I would also, you know, me personally, I'd probably up the bourbon content, and I would also, um, 
Oh, that'd be about it, really. I mean, it was um, it was amazing. Easy to do. I had fun. Hopefully, everyone out there's been entertained and watched and seen it. And so, there's dinner tonight. It took us. So I'm all said and done in less than an hour. Yeah. All right. Time for a shot of bourbon and a, and a steak for lunch. Great. Get it. <laughs> um, don't forget, Ocean of Coffee. Both locations are open. Uh, we are following. Um, all of the guidelines laid out under the laws and under the guidelines and under CDC and under Florida government and we are following the rules and regulations. Um, for, phase one reopening. for phase one reopening, we are at 50% capacity. If you look into the window and you think that it's not correct, well it is because once somebody sits down at a, at a, a seat or a table, we restrict the tables and chairs around that area to follow the guidelines. So. Um, if you are still concerned or worried about coming out or being wanting to scream and yell at local businesses doing what they can to earn money to support their families, please don't come out. Honestly, if you don't, if you're not feeling safe, stay home. We're not, we're not there for you to. We're not there for your entertainment. We're not there for your wanting to be a new police officer or whatever it is. But look, if you don't feel safe, please don't come out. Be safe, look after yourselves. We are only doing this to support ourselves and we're doing this to support all of our community in Oceana Coffee and we are following the guidelines to the T. So, if you want Oceana Coffee, come on in. We'll look after you. Plenty we of room do, in the... We still do takeout. We still do takeout. Takeaway, takeout. Um, we have hand sanitizer everywhere. We wipe all the, everything down after every customer. We do everything that is required by us and more. So. Come on out. Um, you can do. You can sit down at the um, US One location on, at 151 at 150 North US One. You can sit down there and you can enjoy a coffee inside, outside. Um, you cannot sit down at the roasting house. So the roasting house is a pick up and go. Um, and tomorrow is Member Monday. So remember, Member Monday, 20% off uh, coffee by the drink and by the bags. So you can come on in, race in. Grab a coffee to go, grab a bag of coffee, take on out. Um, the other thing too, the US, excuse me, the US one location is one door in and one door out. We have an entrance and an exit. We have an entrance and an exit. So play, please pay attention to pay attention to the signage we have every, everywhere and pay attention to one door in, one door out at the US one location. Um, I saw a few people hanging out there yesterday enjoying the enjoying the scenery and the relaxation. So um, what else? Um, Free shipping, free shipping online still rolling. Um, so all of you guys who are buying online are definitely benefiting. We've got local deliver, local pickup and delivery. We also have food too, right? We've had a few bunches, a few orders, quite a few orders order of the quiches. Brunch on the weekends. Yeah, brunches. Um, it's been a huge hit for that brunches on the weekend setup. So that's been really good. Um, but the code for free shipping, new normal. New normal. If you're ordering today, the code is still W F H May. Okay. Because it's still May today. It's the last day of May. Um, so that is yeah. So that's right. So that the code for May is still valid until midnight tonight, and then the rest, game on. What else we got? That's it. Five two. Enjoy the rest of your day, Sunday. Um, out and about. I know down here it's gone crazy. The boys are out in the, in the boats and out in the sandbars and enjoying being social again, which is really, really cool. I, I think it's awesome. Um, buddies of mine in Australia are put, putting their hand up for what they believe in, and I love that. My best friend is uh, out there, and Australia is getting a little bit antsy in uh, dealing with all this. So good luck to the boys at home. Love and hugs for everyone. Um, for the rest of you, this is it. We have. A coffee rubbed New York strip steak with coffee bourbon sauce for lunch. Let's eat. Bye for now. It's been fun. <laughs>